Wait, there's something very weak coming through. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Hello, Galactic listeners. I'm Heather Allred, and this is WSTR, Galactic Public Access, a Star Wars podcast. Welcome to episode 118, and today I'm here to give you just a little taste of our time at Star Wars Celebration 2019 in Chicago, Illinois. I'm on my own tonight, so join me on the adventure. Um, my pals, Mr. Todd Hoffman and Mr. Aaron Julian, are still recouping from all the fun that was had. Um, I have no idea where all of my current energy is coming from because, woo, what a weekend. Um, so join me along. Um, please check us out on our social media, WSTR Media, all one word, all lowercase. You can get to see some really great visuals from our time. And then as well, just crazy stuff about us. Um, We always want to hear from you guys. So email us at mailbox at wstrmedia.com or feel free to give us a call and you can leave us a voicemail. Our number is 630-557-WSTR, which is 630-557-9787. And whether this is your first time listening or you've been with us since the beginning, don't forget to check out our back catalog of episodes at podcast.wstrmedia.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel simply by going to youtube.com, search for WSTR Media, and that way you can also view some of our old live streams. And then once all of the stars realign and we defeat the Empire, we'll be back on live streaming and you can watch the fun action happen as we're recording. Um, Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Audible or not, um, but through this um, opportunity at audibletrial.com forward slash WSTR, you can get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial. With over 425,000 titles to choose from, I guarantee you you're going to find a book that's right up your alley. They... Work with your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle, your MP3 player. Um, Like I said, it's a free 30-day trial as well. And you can get all kinds of books at audibletrial.com forward slash WSTR. And if you find that you're just not the Audible book kind of person and you just are like, I don't know that I want it, you can cancel at any time and keep that free audiobook. But through that, you're going to help out your, you know, lovely friends here at the podcast. Um, and hey, get a free book out of the deal. So check it out, right? Yeah, I think it's a win-win for everybody. Um, and hey, like any good podcast, we got merch, people. So feel free to hop over to store.wstrmedia.com and check out all of the selections. I mean, we've got things as simple as like a magnet or a, you know, a coffee mug, all the way up to like leggings and socks and t-shirts and tank tops and long sleeve t-shirts. And then you've got sweatshirts and I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guarantee you it's all out there. And uh, just a great way to rip us, uh, rip us, not rip us, rep us. Well, that's hard to say when you're on your own, guys. Um, Out into the world and help um, us share our love of Star Wars with fans. So that's our merch stuff at store.wstrmedia.com. Well, this would be the time that I would give you all of our news teasers, and I'm not going to do that today. Um, And as well, this would also be the time that we would do um, our Twitter trash compactor, which I'm also not going to do. And you're probably asking yourselves, why? Why don't you have those things? Well, basically because all of the Star Wars universe, except for those, unfortunately, who couldn't come, gathered together and we all got to experience some great things together. So we're going to table that for now and get back to that next week. So basically, I think it's time that we move on to the main topic. So, like I said, April 11th through April 15th, 
Star Wars celebration took place at McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois. And we had the opportunity, um, myself, Todd, and Aaron uh, were able to go, and we kind of went on various days, sometimes together, sometimes not together. Um, but get, got to experience this amazing fandom together. And so um, basically what I have for you, we've got a couple uh, little audible, audible links that I want to share with you kind of going through our time there. So this will be this will be my little news t- teaser for you guys. So we're going to start day one recap um, starring Todd and Heather. And I'm just going to say one word to you. Lines. So Todd and Heather, give us the day one recap. All right, this is Todd. Hey, it's Heather. And we're obviously from WSDR, uh, Galactic Public Access. So we did day one and survived, Heather. Oh my gosh, it was rough though. It was rough. We, uh, the recap is basically we waited in a lot of lines. 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 So many lines. Lines. (laughs) And it was, it was good though. It was super fun. We waited in line to get in with our, we met some great people there. Yep. 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 And then um, some guy was cosplaying Joe, was cosplaying for the first time as Thrawn. So we're like super excited, super excited for him. And uh, him today. Yep. And then uh, we I wanted to get Timothy's on. That was like my day one goal. Day one goal. So we get in line to get a book and we wait in line for like ever. Mm -hmm. And then we had to get another line to get his autograph, to get his autograph. So now we're at we're in like line two and line two is like off the it's <laughs> it, it should have been capped it should have been capped. so uh it opened at one we were in lines from one to like 345 pretty, pretty good, much yeah, pretty, yeah much, pretty, much, pretty much pretty much but we saw some people uh we saw talking bay 94 true brandon shout out to you we saw tattooing sons <gasps> so fun yes yeah, so we met up with them real quick uh and we ran and we ran into a bb8 unit oh my gosh i was so excited that you had to rub i so yeah so basically i had to have a poe moment and i had to go and i had to scratch bb8's belly right and so i politely asked the the uh the operator person i don't know what they're called handler <laughs> the handler let's sure. the handler well, yeah, it's handler. The, yeah it's probably an operator too yeah. but you know um if i could and he politely said yes and so i did and then as I was walking away, all of a sudden we're like, hey, hey, hey. It was Kessel Run, Kessel Run Weekly. Weekly. It hey was Kristen. Yeah, it was so much fun. We're like, dude, dude. So we had a moment there. That was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and then we met up with my friends, uh, Brian and Bobby. Yep. And so we kind of owned the place for a little bit and walked around. A um, lot, too much to see. Too much to see, oh. not enough time. So, but yeah, that, I, I think, that was some of the highlights, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's still just, more. There's, just so you guys know, the show floor is pretty spectacular. Yes. Um, so much to see. Visually, a little overstimulating at times. Yeah, it was. But um, a really cool crowd. And so we will be checking in again very shortly. Uh, we uh, have we, to. We have to. So <laughs> <laughs> for now, we're signing off. We survived day one. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Let's do it. Wow, that day was so much fun. Um, Lines, long lines, but still so much fun. So very quickly, we'll just move on straight on to day two, because this is the day we've all been waiting for. So once again, Todd and Heather, uh, I'm talking about myself in third person, um, did a quick preview on our way down to the, the city um, basically with only one thing on our mind, and that is episode nine. So it's the day we've been waiting for. So why don't we hear um, what the preview was and get ourselves excited for that. So day two preview, take it away. Hey guys, it's Heather. And yeah, Todd. Which, uh, as you know, us, we're from WSTR. Uh, we are a Galactic- We are? We are. Awesome. Yes, Galactic Public Access Star Wars podcast. And it is day two. Day two of Star Wars Celebration. Uh, the day we've been waiting for. <laughs> Todd is um, Todd's um, having some hard time breathing today. I haven't he's, slept. <laughs> he's so excited. Day two brings us 
the episode nine panel. Yes. Todd, can you even believe it? I can't even comprehend this moment and I probably won't after it happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're driving to celebration right now and we are going to the panel in Win Wintrust Arena. And we're meeting up with our pal Aaron. So yes. we're going to be reunited as a podcast. And his brother's coming. And his coming. brother's going to be and there. And we're meeting up with my good friends, Bobby and Brian. And so we are going to go in there and sit back and have some Star Wars. Woo! So any quick predictions? What do you want to see from the episode nine trailer? Heather. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um, I think what I'm most intrigued to find out is where Luke and Leia end up being in the trailer. Okay. In light of um, Luke's passing yes. in Last Jedi and then Carrie Fisher's passing, passing in real life. Yes. How it's being handled. I think we're concluding the Skywalker saga. Right. So how are they going to do it? Right. I think that's the big thing for me. Right. Are they going to do some kind of cliffhanger like they did in Last Jedi where Luke's like, this is time for the Jedi to end type thing or any kind of spoiler? It's, you think they're going to do any kind of spoiler? It's we so, haven't seen anything, we, people. We know nothing. We don't even have a title know, for crying you know, out loud. Chewie, Finn, <laughs> and Poe were by a horse. That's the only leaked images we have. And... The Falcon was like in the woods. That's all we it's know. That's all we know. That's all we know. So, so it's I, hard because do you do a traditional trailer where you get your exciting moments and your cliffhanger? Do we really do a great tribute to I, Harry? Yeah. Like, I, what do I, we do? I want I want a Revenge of the Sith trailer, which which they did in San Diego was they did behind the scenes and live footage. Okay. And then at the end they revealed the title. That's oh, what I want. All right, that, all right. I want to. I love the buy. Like JJ did that for Force Awakens. Uh, they did the behind the scenes trailer. You know, for I think that was San Diego as well. I'm like, I love that stuff. I love seeing the behind the scenes. But sure. Then you want to see the finished product too. Totally. And you see that title, and then little John Williams score in there, and then the waterworks. Honestly, though, the thing I'm most excited about yeah. is to be in Wind Trust Arena. Yes, with like with like thirty thousand plus people and have it be completely dead That's silent nice. while yeah. the trailer is yeah. going because yeah. there's just gonna you're gonna feel the energy in the room yes yes as soon as yeah as soon as they jj says let's see a trailer or kathleen kennedy says let's see a trailer i i think it'll be absolutely, so, absolutely we're super excited yes more to come but that's really day one day two which is like yesterday was a preview day but but we're gonna call this day two. Day two. This is the real deal. This is it, man. Yeah, episode nine panel, and after that, it's we don't really care. <laughs> well, we do care. We, we do. do care. We're gonna but... check out some of the podcast yes. panels. Yes. We're gonna check out um, some droid builders. Yeah. We got an autograph session. Yeah, We've yeah. got really expensive food. I yeah. mean, it's gonna be a great day. It's guys. gonna be a great day, and we're gonna drink water. Water. Yeah. No we're, dehydration we're on day very two. Dehydrated. <laughs> So more to come, but yes. that's that's gonna be our kind of day two preview. Here we go. I love it. Oh my goodness. So lots of predictions, lots of hopes and dreams. Um, basically, there's only one way to finish it, and that's to recap day two. Let's see if we were anywhere on our predictions and all of those things. So um, I'm gonna name drop just a little bit here is our little preview. Um, I'm gonna say Stephen Colbert I'm going to say our favorite Ewok, Warwick Davis. Um, and then basically, just to give you a little hint here, the laugh that was heard around the world. So here is your day two recap. All right. Day two is Oops. complete. Yes. So this is Todd. This is Heather. From WSDR. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, you know you've been there. All that stuff. Okay. So our main objective was the episode nine panel. Correct. Which we which we got in. Which we got in. We got free hat. We did get a, a free, free hat. hat. It says episode one X. Yeah. Which I don't even think it says episode. Oh, it, it just says, says nine, right? It, it just says one. Yeah, one, it's X, one yeah. X. Yeah, which is nine for your non-Roman people. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they let us in. They don't check anything again. No. Again, we just sort of. Yeah, these Here's are these are QR code. these are the QR codes you're looking for, and we're in. <laughs> but like good 
Padawans, we follow our yes. where we're supposed to sit. So I went with my friend Bobby, and then Heather went with my friend Brian and Aaron, Aaron. and his brother Josh. Josh. Went into their we dozen. Went to yeah. Side. Yes. And it was everything and more. <sighs> okay. First off, you walk in and you get seated. Yeah. And there is dear sweet Warwick Davis. Just chatting up the crowd. Yep. On his little segue. Yeah. Yep. So taking great. taking pictures, doing his thing, uh, and then the other host came out, which was really good. Yeah. Uh, I forget his name, but he I was did. awesome. Yeah. And then, then Stephen Colbert, Colbert comes out, who's a huge Star Wars nerd, and that was a huge surprise right from the get go. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a huge surprise. Huge huge surprise. So he he warms us, and of course JJ okay. and. Kathleen, and Kathleen, Ken, Kenny. Yeah, yep. we knew that. We knew that. Then they bring out Anthony Daniels. Yes. Right. And R two D two. And R two D two. That's right. Uh, Don't forget the droids. I will never forget the droids. Okay. Uh, and then Billy freaking D Williams comes oh, out. Oh my gosh. I. That man's voice is timeless. And his. I mean. His swag, yeah, even it, as an old, older yeah, gentleman, yeah, yeah, is yeah. still pointless. He's like, why am I explaining this, this to you? <laughs> Lando's a good guy. <laughs> you know? I'm so uh, tired of people thinking. But Bobby looked up. He's 82. Yeah. He's 82. Killing so, it. yeah, he's killing it. Uh, no pun intended. But no. um, <laughs> then then they bring out the whole, the whole crew. Daisy. Yep. And John. Yes. And Oscar. Oscar. We got Rose. Rose. Uh, well, Kelly Marie, Marie Tran. Tran. Uh, Jonas. 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 Who, 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 we don't know. Chewy. Chewy. <laughs> uh, and then. Yes. This other girl, and we're like, who, who is, is she? We don't know. Yeah. And she was introduced as a new character yes. for episode nine. Yes. And the name is escaping me right now. I know. I feel like a horrible person. Yeah. Oh, what kind of Star Wars podcast is it? We don't know this, but yeah. we're driving. And then, and then, of course, friends. BB-8 yeah. came behind them. Yes. BB-8 came there. And then they introduced <gasps> another droid. BB-8's new friend. Yeah, and he's basically a duck. He looks like a duck. Yeah, that was. they showed some concept sketches, and it was a duck. Yeah. And what was his name? Like, Drone or Done or... D-O is kind of oh, what, D-O. Is what the Star Wars Instagram kind mm, of, like, D-O. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. How they'll shorten it or yeah. usually say it. But yeah, Dio. Yeah. He was cool. Very cool. He was pretty and cool. And JJ explained again, like, just like BB 8, BB 8 was, like, not fully functional on the movie. No, what, nor was this Dio little droid. Yeah. But for celebration, fully functional. Totally functional. Like, hovering on one wheel unicycle thing. It, and it was pretty spectacular. It was pretty cute. It was pretty cute. Yes. And so, you know, they kind of go through different yeah. things. They show some s footage, you know, like some yeah. new, like still shots. Still shots, yeah. So yeah. each kind of, each character kind of starts talking. Right. They throw up this major still from yes. the new film and everyone's Lando, like, mm -hmm. Lando looks, Lando's like in, in his Han Solo gear, or Solo gear. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. Oh boy. That was good. Yeah. Uh, when Dizzy Ridley, they show her in the forest, and she said, "Yeah, that's me with a stick." Me with a stick. Yeah. 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 It was yep, cool. Yep. Um, it was so fun. If I can, because we talked about this in a different podcast, um, it was so cool when they talked to Kelly Marie Tran because she uh, just got the huge support. I was hoping for a love fest, and she got it, she and got she it. and she broke down. And we sang "Happy Birthday" to Daisy Ridley. And we sang "Happy Birthday" to Daisy Ridley. That's so true. Yeah, it's crazy, but. Uh, Oscar and John Boyega kind of played up the bromance a lot. Oh, faux show. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was it was overall. I felt like Steve Colbert, like he knows his stuff, and oh, he was yeah. like super on point. And um, yeah, it was Eunice. Like he had his child on set, and there was a cute picture of him holding it up, and I'm just like. That was like seriously. Seriously, and he was like, "Thank you for all the Star Wars family." You know, like them. Like having him on yes. set, it was so cute. It was super awesome. Uh, yeah, so it went by in a flash. Right. But it was over an hour of question, like Absolutely. kind of like bringing everybody out. You didn't feel like you were there for an hour. No. For sure. Yeah, I was like, okay, okay, and then. And then Steven. Steven kind of went into his. He saw like a three-week prior preview oh, of a New Hope, yeah. 
And Apparently he's a, been a fan three weeks longer than the rest. That, of us. That's right. That's right. And then um, BBA, he started talking again, and BBA like cut him off. Yeah, which was pretty great. And then, and then you know it was coming. We knew, you know, we're well, we're new to this, but yeah. obviously based on other celebrations, you're like, guys, want to see a trailer? Uh, yeah, we kind of yeah, do. Why we're that's here. why we're here. Well, you know, we're also here <laughs> to see you, but and so the trailer. No! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's too much. It it's too much. Too well, I mean, we have much. to bring in Aaron, but like the yes. short short take of it is it looks great. It leaves you wanting more. Yes. Which is what a trailer is supposed to do. Totally. And it literally gets you pumped. It does. And then okay, so when we were in line day 1, we met some fe- some people and right, right, right. the one of the guys was like, it would be cool if Thrawn comes out, like in his big Star Destroyer from the Unknown yes, Regions. right. Because that's been flowing around because Thrawn, Ezra, Unknown Regions, Rebels, all that. We get it. We get it. But that's kind of a stretch because a lot of people don't know him that Thrawn and, you know, Ezra. But. Right, right, right. The surprise. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so basically standard teaser trailer mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like lots of great cameo shots of all the people yes yes yes, it, yes, you know, yes 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 knocking guys down i mean like your wwe style rock right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah just yeah. kind of clean and yeah. then the very last shot mm-hmm. there's this beautiful voiceover mm-hmm. and i forget the wording because i'm so excited to talk right, right. about it but then the screen goes dark yeah because that's how you do it that's right that's how you do it and you start to hear this laugh uh, and the crowd uh, lit, like Aaron literally turned to me and looked <laughs> gobsmacked. It was awesome. Uh, who, Todd? Yes. Was the laughter. Oh, it was the emperor. It was the Papa emperor. Papa P! Papa P is in the house. He ain't dead. <laughs> if you know anything about Star Wars, no one's dead until they're dead, 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 dead. That's right. Even if you cut them in half, you know, there's still hope. Clearly they're not dead. They're clearly not dead. So, here's the deal. Then, that stops. And it's dark in the stage. Yep. And then Ian freaking McDermott <laughs> comes back out. Yep. And the crowd's losing their mind. Right. Because people realize, oh, it's him. Right. And he's like, what did he, he kind of, I think he said. Something like. Like roll, roll it, again, it again. Again. Yeah. Like in. I remember. Emperor, in, in the emperor voice. In the emperor voice. Yeah. And then we all oh, flipped out again. Flipped out again. Literally <laughs> saw it again. And of course, I mean, we there's rumors on the internet that it was going to be called Skywalkers. Right. Which has never been... Confirmed tonight. Right. Like, a one-word title. Oh, okay. Sure. Star Wars is just not Star Wars thing. Right. You know. So, we got Rise of the Skywalkers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's It's good. So we'll save more of that for later, but overall, very good trailer. It was everything we wanted and more. Yes. Uh, Rest of the day. Yeah. What were some highlights, Heather? So super fun. Um, We uh, joined um, a Lego panel about the 20 years of Lego and Star Wars together. That's right. Yep. Um, Then we spent some decent amount of money on some food because you know we gotta eat gotta eat yes um, which we didn't do yesterday which we didn't do yesterday which right. we felt it, yeah. it was not a good decision right exactly um and then our group sort of disbanded a little bit but not yeah. in a bad way just no. in a variety of different missions <laughs> right so right Aaron and his brother had a mission to explore the floor because it yeah. was their first day there that's right um, and then your friend Brian had to leave after the panel. He's like, I gotta do some right, things. I was gonna say, yep. And Brian then had to go. And then Bobby, I don't know where, I where Bobby went. <laughs> Bobby was going some places. Yeah, he, he, had, had, he had Galaxy a, Heroes. He had he, yeah, he, he had an agenda. Yes. So yeah, yeah. And then Todd. Yes. Had a very important mission. Yes. So tell Todd. Okay. Can tell. Uh, Sam Whitmer who is a voice actor for Clone Wars. Yes. And he did Darth Maul. Right. And Emperor Palpatine. Correct. And he was also the main star killer on uh, Force Unleashed. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So he's pretty cool. He was also in Smallville. You know. Uh, but anyways, he, I 
paid. This is my paid this thing. Is, yeah. Right. So get the autograph. And I already kind of planned it out. I'm like, if he could just do Darth Maul for me, that'd be great. That'd be cool. So I get up there, met some nice people online, you know, because um, you have to wait. This is like part of the deal. Yeah. So my my thing was at three. I probably didn't get to see him till like four ish. I guess I don't know. It was like three forty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So super nice. Shook his hand. Like, hey, I gave him. Uh, I have an Art of Force Unleashed book that I had him sign, which was great. Um, and then I said, hey, I'm part of the 501st. I also have a Star Wars podcast. Would you mind saying a little thing for me? And guess what, folks? He did. It's really cool. Oh, it's 11 seconds of amazement. Um, and yeah, it was great. I was so appreciative of that. And uh, yeah. So cool. shout out to Sam. That was yeah. fantastic. Uh, yeah. And then we... We kind of got the band back together for a brief moment. Brief moment. A couple photo ops. A couple of photo ops. And, and then, then, uh, then we went and Heather had a little geek out moment. Oh, yes. That's right. We went to see the droids. We went to see the droids. And they're all fantastic. They're like legit. So. No, I like, yeah. So C-3PO, quite of the variety on the R2 units. Yes. And then the varieties of the R2-D2s specifically. Yes. Um, had some good BB units. So we yes. had the classic BB-8s and yeah. then, you know, BB-9E there were, from yep. Last Jedi. Yes, yes. He was there. Got some a couple mouse droids. Some gonk droids. Got some gonks. I got, got some... I got uh, droid. No, wait. There was... No, that's well, right. there was one droid that I was really surprised to see was from Mustafar, Revenge of the Sith, the lava droid that scoops oh, up the lava. I'm like, yeah, yeah. dude, who built this? This is fantastic. There was that. There was a full-blown K2SO. Yes. There was, was a, cool. a Death Star interrogation droid, which is on the other side of K2. Okay, I don't, yeah. yeah, it was super yeah. nice. Um, and then they had a little, we took a picture with BB-8 suspended yeah. in the Falcon. Which was? Yeah, geez. I mean, come on. It is. So good. Yes. So good. So just truly seeing Star Wars fans and builders. Yes. In their element. Yes. Great. Oh, okay. Uh, before we wrapped up, like yeah. before this loses my, you know, I'm gonna yeah, bring it on. Bring it, it on. on. Uh, so we're waiting for Heather, Aaron, Josh, Brian. They got stuck. Me and Bobby are just like waiting outside. It's windy. We're just waiting, waiting. Oh, right. right yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, this is after a panel, and this dude walks out. Like just a shirt, you know, t-shirt and badge, and I was like, "Are you Matthew Wood?" And he's like, "Yes, yes, I am." I'm like, "Dude, you're awesome." And so, if you're not familiar, who is Matthew Wood? Matthew Wood, Wood is like the Jedi apprentice to uh, Ben Burt. So Ben Burt is the sound was the sound designer for the classic trilogy, and then kind of helped George edit and do more sound. And when the prequels came along, he had a protege, and that is Matthew Wood. Matthew Wood did all the BB-8, or not BB-8 the battle droids like roger roger he did all the voices he did general grievous's voice that's his claim to fame sure and now he's like a lead sound guy for the movie so he just came out the side door shook his yeah. hand and he ran he ran off right but it was like a cool like that little moment hey i'm geeky enough to know that's matthew wood it was cool Love it was it. cool it was Love cool it. so that was a fun little not planned moment so oh, yeah totally yeah. So, yeah, there's probably more that we need to say, but I think it was a good day, too. I think we had oh, a very successful okay. day, too. There wait, is wait, one wait. more thing that we're, we're wait, 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 wait. missing. The John Boyega segment. Oh. <laughs> there might be two things. Then. Okay, okay. But, well, yeah, let's do the John one. So, you know, Star Wars Live, there. Right. You know, Star, Star Wars Show Live is there. And... Uh, we were going to the 501st kind of area, but I we saw on the screen Giant Boyega. We're like, well, let's just go over there. And we kind of scooted over there. And so yeah. he's facing behind us. He like we're he's looking at yeah, yeah, we're looking at his back of his head, basically. But they have a couple camera shots. Yep. We made it on the screen. What? Yeah, we were, we're we were live. It's all good. We were live. So um yeah, so that was fun. That was fun. And uh, and then we met one of our good friends uh, that we met through our podcast, yep, Carla, yep. G. Carla G. She she's been on our uh, 
uh, a show before, yep. and uh, so it was nice meeting her and her fiance, um, and they were both fantastic as Ray and Mike, or Ray, Ray, Ray and, and Mike? Ray, Mike. Mike. Ray and Kylo. Ray and Kylo. Oh my gosh. His Kylo was like, like on point. On point, and he had a great voice modulator it that, is, for sure. oh my gosh, it was amazing. Yes. Okay. So great. So yeah, that was fun, and now we're here. It's. Was there any other points you wanted no, to bring? Carla up? Carla was the the other one that I was thinking of. All right, so all right, you, got, you know, shout out to Carla. She's yes. A fan. Yes. So, but yeah, it was a good day too, man. It was amazing. So uh, yeah, we'll probably be. Day three might even be. Better. I don't know. We'll see. It's so hard to know. Yeah, but it was good. It was a good day too. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. I think that's it for right now. I think that's it. That's all we got, people. And bye. Woo! Is every, everyone's okay, right? We're all good? We're all still processing the trailer? I really hope so, because, oh my goodness. So, I don't, I don't even know what to say. You're going to have to wait until later. So, <laughs> um, yeah, moving on. We've got um, day three. So the day three uh, recap, uh, we don't have a preview this time, just the recap. So um, is our very own Todd. Um, to, I'm going to give a quick uh, Carla shout out. Hey, Carla. Um, apparently Todd's getting famous. And I'm going to leave it with the power of BB-8. So Todd, take away the day three recap. All right, guys. This is Todd from WSTR Galactic Public Access. All right, day three is a wrap. Oh man, so much, so much, so much. Too much actually, but celebration has been really, really good. Uh, just can't can't get over like how cool it is. Um, so this was a little lax of a day for me. I just um, really kind of came in a little late uh, to the show and went to the 501st because I was meeting up with Carla, our good friend Carla, from the show, and she had some swag to give me, so I went there to see Carla and her fiance and talked to her for a second and then automatically got swooped into doing some booth for the throne, and that was a lot of fun with some other 501st members uh, taking pictures of people getting on the Emperor's throne. So uh, that became very popular because of the trailer, uh, and also it's a very cool chair. So did that for a little bit, and then uh, I got an opportunity to talk to Yahoo Entertainment, and that was fun, so I did like a little interview uh, somebody posted on Twitter, if you want to talk about Star Wars, uh, hit them up, and I did, and so did a little interview. I don't know what I said, but I hope I said something intelligible, and that is supposed to be coming out on May the 4th, so he's going to let me know, and then, um, yeah, so that was fun, and then I do what all good stormtroopers do, and was on guard duty, and so uh, we have a change of room for the 501st and the Rebel Legion and the Mando Mercs. So I watched the door and uh, Heather and her friend Deb came down and visit me and we just chitted, chit chatted it up and uh, yeah, it was, it was great fun. And yeah, we just walked around and um, we got back on live stream, which was fun. And, um, uh, and then uh, we, it was for, I'm going to put her name, but it was for Jana, I want to say. She's the actress that played uh, Shiva on the League as well as Battlefront 2. And so that was fun. We were on the live stream for that. And uh, yeah, I walked around and I met Hip Hop Trooper, which was, I've always wanted to meet Hip Hop Trooper. And that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, just walked around and bumped into Danny Kristen from Kessel Run Weekly and uh, got to talk to him for a little bit. And that was always, it's always good to catch up with them and uh we chit chatted a bunch of, about the day and they got a bunch of pictures with jonas and a bunch of other guys and it was awesome and uh the power of bb8 is amazing so we uh then we uh, we had a little podcast meetup so i met aaron and a jd who's also a friend of the show and we we chit chatted outside with a couple people and uh yeah met some fun folks and uh, we really didn't <laughs> get inside to mingle with the podcast, but it was uh, a super fun. And then I had a scary walk back to the parking garage because 
uh, it just reminded me of all the video games of like Resident Evil and just like walking down a dark corridor and I was waiting for a zombie to jump on me but it didn't happen and I was safe and everything was good so I'm exhausted long day uh, fun day uh, but yeah uh, there you have it and that's a wrap for day three so so awesome Oh, man, the power of BB-8. I love that. I just think that's great. But, of course, I'm the droid person in the group, so what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, it's too fun, people. Too fun. So, um, awesome. Well, should we move on to day four? I know I'm, like, flying through these things, but there's just it's just so much fun. A um, lot to cover here. Um, so, day four, I've got a preview with Todd and a very, very special guest. And of course, the one thing that you don't think is going to happen unless you live in Chicago, and that's snow. So Todd, take it away. Hey guys, this is Todd, and I have a very, very special guest uh, with me, and it's my son Trent. All right, so uh, this is WSTR, Galactic Public Access, and we are on our way to Chicago. And yeah, it's snowing, people. So I was going to try to do a group photo with the 501st, and I had to be there at 9, and it's snowing out, it's nasty, and I'm just like, it's not really a risk-reward thing here. So I was like, yeah, it's just not worth it. So we decided not to do that and take our time to get up there. And uh, yeah, so, but then Heather got sick, so Heather uh, couldn't make it, but uh, we're gonna meet up with Aaron and his brother Josh for a little bit as well. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had, uh, well, it was, it's gonna be fun because we're gonna see The Mandalorian and I uh, can't wait to uh, see what that's all about. That's that's really what I wanted to see this whole weekend and luckily to get the Wintrust Arena and we're gonna be sitting down to watch that so super excited about that uh, the whole plan is to run around the convention center Trent wants a toy we're gonna to get him a toy right bud yeah and then uh, we are going to take as many pictures as we can so uh, we'll keep you posted throughout the day but basically it's Mandalorian and uh, we're gonna look we're gonna look forward to that and can't wait to uh, tell you all about it after that happens all right talk to you guys soon yay Trent I'm so glad little Trent got to go um, I'm sure he had a blast um, you know, well, when you're being raised by Todd, one of the biggest Star Wars fans I know, it's pretty likely that that little guy is going to have more Star Wars knowledge than me. Um, well, hopefully they had a fun day. So maybe we should check out the day four recap with Todd and Trent and see how things went. So day four recap. Here we go. All right, everyone. This is Todd from WSTR Galactic Public Access. And day four is a wrap. And I have a special person with me, my son Trent. Hi. So we went to celebration today, and this was Trent's first celebration. No. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't when I went here before. Yeah, but that was C2E2. Now this is Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so today uh, Chicago decided to snow on us, so we um, got they're okay but it was pretty dicey going up but then um yeah we are uh we got to see the mandalorian Wait. Uh, how did you how did you like the mandalorian trent good yeah i like the part where like like the like the monkey guys from the monkey. oh he's talking about the uh shalacious crumb species that uh, i want to say the quasian monkey lizard or whatever yeah one was getting roasted on an open pit of fire, and the next one was in the cage like, what is happening? Is that yeah, so, oh, so we got to see some roasted monkey lizard. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a great panel. Uh, probably the best panel that we've seen so far. And um, yeah, so we went there, and we got to see our good friend Aaron and his brother. And that was fun. We got to hang out with Aaron and Josh for a second. And then uh, we kind of explored and took a ton of pictures. Right, Trent? Yeah. 
Yeah, we were all over the place taking pictures and uh, oh, our feet were burning, right? But we got to see CM Punk. Yeah. And we met. Uh, I'm his name escapes me. I know his first name is Greg, but he played Snap Wexley on uh, the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. And we were just walking by, and he was doing a podcast, and he just finished up, and we got a got to take a quick pic which was fun and it was super nice to Trent and then Trent what did you get at celebration um I got a uh, I got a uh, um, like a toy and two toys it's a stormtrooper they can take their helmets off and Chewbacca's handcuffed it yeah so you got the Death Star escape when Luke and Han are trying to break out uh, Princess Leia and they they had Chewie and handcuffs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chewie didn't like it. Yeah. Much. But we had a great time interacting with all the cosplay, and uh, it was a lot, a lot of fun. But we are tired. And so, yes, so now uh, that is a quick wrap on day four. Right, buddy? So, um,. Now we are going, uh, now we're going to go home and in the snow still, it's still snowing in Chicago. It's April, people. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that, that, that kind of wraps up day four. Uh, Mandalorian is outstanding. And the best thing I think about that panel was that um, at the end, he's like, okay, streamers, bye. And then they cut the live stream, but then they showed us a full, I would say, five to seven minute clip of Mandalorian and then like a little scissor reel for the season and that was amazing they showed the scissor reel like twice uh, I got to see IG-88 in action a lot of cool uh, fights and all this great stuff and I uh, can't wait to see that so that comes out in November uh, yep yeah, that's us so say bye Trent bye can I just tell you how jealous I am right now of Trent um, getting to meet Snap Wexley, Greg Gumberg, oh my goodness, um, too incredible. And yes, boy, are your feet tired. Lots of walking at McCormick Place. Wow, day one, day two, day three, day four. Those are our recaps for you guys. And that is literally just the tip of the iceberg, the little tweet of the news. The subject line of the email. Well, you know what I mean. You know where I'm going with that. Literally just small little bits of what were we expecting? What came of that day? What delirium were we able to even share with you after all of the excitement? Um, but next week, Todd and Aaron are back. It's going to be the three of us. And we are going to break down star wars celebration and of course we're going to react to episode nine both the panel the preview the laugh heard around the world <laughs> um the mandalorian um clearly todd is just loving that panel so i can't wait to chat with him and get his feedback on things um walk the floor with the guys what were our favorite things um what fun adventures and people did we get to meet and of course the cosplay because star wars fans that is what we do we embrace this universe and we literally bear it on our sleeves so do not miss next week when we break all of this down oh my gosh i think that's everything so i really feel like i want to like embrace my papa p and say roll it again but I, i've got nothing to roll again so <laughs> um maybe just hop on that youtube and double check that preview so that when you meet up with us next week you'll be prepared for it all so friends i, I don't even know what to say other than thank you for listening to another episode of wstr galactic public access slightly shorter episode this week but i guarantee you next week's going to be full and powerful so come check us out um you know us social media wstr media all lowercase all one word hey in preparation for next week's episode chatting celebration comment tweet us 
let us know your story and your experience at Celebration. You can email us at mailbox at wstrmedia.com or give us a call at 630-557-WSTR. That's 630-557-9787. And we'll play that on the upcoming episode, that voicemail. Um, We'll read your email. We'll pull a couple tweets and comments on social media posts. Just let us know and let us share that on our podcast. Um, Be sure to check out our back catalog of episodes at podcast.wstrmedia.com. Like I said earlier, we've got merch with our new look, our new logo. We're fresh and clean and ready to go. And that's at store.wstrmedia.com. Like I said, next week, episode 119, we are breaking down celebration, all three back together, better than ever, maybe still tired, maybe still running on the celebration energy. It's just so hard to know at this point, but we're going to go through it and just geek out together because that's what we do. Um, Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is the time where we end with our famous tagline, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change it up. (laughs) And I'm going to let Mr. Sam Witwer close us out. Sam, who plays Darth Maul um, in the um, in the Clone Wars. Wow, I have no words. What are the words, you guys? Um, so, Sam, take it away. Hi, this is Sam Whitworth, and you're listening to WSTR, Galactic Public Access. It's a Star Wars podcast. 